All right, everyone. So my name is Sarah and we're going to be doing some mud painting today. So what you'll need is a cup of dirt or maybe even two cups, depending on how many batches you're going to make. You'll need some water. I got a big jug and you'll need a spoon. And you're also going to need some fun paintbrushes from outside. So what you can do for paintbrushes is you can go outside and you can find different leaves. I found a flower, so a petal from a flower. Then I got a whole flower. I also found a stick outside. I even picked out a strawberry from my garden. And I got some grass. Also these really cool tree leaves. And then a couple other things that you can find outside. And you can also make colored mud paint by getting food, food coloring or food dye. You get this at the food store or even the dollar store has this. So today we'll make one regular batch of mud paint. We'll make a red batch and a blue batch. All right, so we're going to start off now. So we'll need some dirt and a bowl or a cup. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon and you can use a third measuring cup or you could just put a couple scoops in. So I'm going to use the measuring cup, which is going to be about one, two, three, four, five, let's do one more, six. So about six spoonfuls. And you're gonna put it into your cup, okay. like that. And then next we're gonna put in some water. So for the water part, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water in. One, two, three. And I'm gonna mix it up. And you might have to add more dirt or more water into it. So it looks like for this batch, we're gonna need to add a little more dirt because it's a little too liquidy. We want it to look like pudding. Has everybody ate chocolate pudding or vanilla pudding? Mm -hmm. Eat both. Yeah. Right, and that's exactly what we want it to look like. So I'm gonna add two more big scoops of dirt. And I'm going to mix it up until I get a pudding-like consistency. That kind of looks like pudding. It's a little drippy, so I'll add one more scoop. All right, let's see. Does that look like pudding? I think so. I think so. All right. Yeah, look like pudding. So now we've made our brown mud paint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this brown mud paint aside for now. And next, we are gonna make a batch of blue mud paint. So just like the other batch, we're gonna take a new cup or a new bowl, and we're gonna put about a third of dirt into the cup. So again, one, two, three, four, five, Six, so about six spoonfuls you're gonna put into your cup. Just like that. And then we're gonna add a little less water. So let's just do one, two. So one, two. Now this is the fun part. We're gonna take our food dye. We're gonna use blue today. And we're gonna put about five drops in it. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna see if we can see some blue in our mud paint. And we're gonna mix it up. You wanna mix it up so it looks like chocolate pudding. Or maybe a little bit of blue chocolate pudding. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna add a little more food coloring because it just looks a little blue to me. So I'm gonna add another five drops. I'm gonna add five more, 10 total. One, two, 
three, four, five. All right, now I'm gonna mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. Awesome, and now I have a chocolate pudding consistency. Just wow. like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so our blue mud cake is finished. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our red mud paint. So get your cup of dirt or your bowl of dirt and get you a new cup or bowl. And this time I'm not gonna use the measuring cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put six scoops in. One, two, three, four, five, and it's okay if your dirt has some rocks in it or some leaves. That's okay too. Does everybody see the rocks and the leaves and the sticks inside my dirt? That's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mine has some of that too. Yes. So next we're going to go one, two, one, two, and pour some water in there. And next we're going to put the red food dye in. So we found out with the blue food dye that it needs about 10 drops. So we're going to put 10 drops in the red mud paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job. Next, we're going to mix the red mud paint and mix it up. I think that this mud paint is a little too thick, so I'm going to add some more water because it's just looking really lumpy. So we're going to add one more dash of water and mix that up and see if we get that chocolate pudding consistency. Mm -hmm. Don't eat it though, it's not chocolate pudding. <laughs> All right, just like that. And you can see there's a little bit of red in there, not too much. All right, so I want everybody to take one minute to gather up their paper and their nature's paintbrushes. So anything you found outside in the na nature, those are gonna be your paintbrushes today. And I want you to gather up those materials. Just today I decided that I'm gonna use green paper because that's all I had at home. So I'm gonna use green paper and now I'm going to get my nature's paintbrushes, which is all my fun items that I found outside. It's a little windy here in New York. Okay, so I have all my paintbrushes. And I think first I'm going to try out the brown mud paint. All right, we can put all our other materials aside. So we just have our paper, our nature's paintbrushes, and our three mud paints. My mud paints are going to be over here, and we're going to start with the brown one. I think first I'm going to try to paint with a stick. And again, you can use anything you find outside. You're just going to dip your brush in there, and then you can make a little drawing. I'm making a heart and it dries just like regular paint. You leave it out and it dries in a couple minutes. I made a heart. I think next maybe I'm going to use the stick also to fill my heart in with some red mud paint. Oh. Let's see if we can see the red. I think the red might be, need a little more food coloring, which is okay, because we could just add that right now. For the red, maybe you want to put some more food coloring. You can put as much or as little as you want. It's really up to you. A little windy here. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in my heart with some red mud paint which it might be hard to see on camera, but it has a reddish tint to it. So just a little mm -hmm. bit of red, not a lot, just a little. It might be hard to see on the camera, but when you do it in person, you'll see it. 
So next, I think I'm actually gonna color with this really cool petal I found. Oh. I think I'm gonna use the petal to make a little bit of a sky on my picture. So I'm dipping it in the mud paint and then I'm gonna go like this. Everybody see that? Yeah, that's so cool. And don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty, right? Mm -hmm. so there's my sky. And I think next, what I might try to use, what I was really excited to use, is this really cool. Piece of wow. bush. I'm gonna break it up a little because I think this is like too big. So I took a little piece off of it. And I think I'm gonna dip this one in the blue again since I'm really liking the blue color and how it turned out. And look, I'm sticking my hands all the way in the cup just to cover up my branch. See? Just like a paintbrush, we're covering up our leaf or our bush. And I'm just gonna make an X in my paper. I'm just gonna go like this. I don't have anything in mind that I'm painting. I'm just making some lines and some fun shapes. And it's a lot of fun. And when you do it, you can also play some music. And I think it makes a really fun noise when you paint with a certain nature's paintbrushes or certain leaves and plants that you find outside. I think it makes a really cool pattern as well. Look, from using that as a paintbrush, look at the cool little lines we have and how thin they are compared mm -hmm. to how the lines turned out when we used the petals. And I think everybody has grass at home. So we can even try to paint with a little bit of grass. I just got a little bit, three pieces. And I'm gonna use the red one this time. And you're gonna just dip it in there Make sure it's fully covered. Don't be afraid to stick your hands in there. Should be fully covered like this. And I'm gonna actually get a new piece of paper so you guys can see what the grass looks like. I'm gonna use a pink piece of paper now. I didn't have any white paper at home today. And I'm just gonna go like this. The grass makes really cool squiggly lines when you use it to mud paint. It almost looks like a wave to me. What do you guys think? I think it looks like a wave too. That's so cool. And now this is what I really like to do. I like to try out big items that I find outside. Look how big this leaf is. So I'm gonna take my big leaf and one of my cups of dirt paint. I think I'm gonna use Maybe I'll use the blue one again, and I'm going to just stick it in there. Sometimes it's a little easier when you use a bowl if you're going to use bigger items. And I'm just going to cover up my leaf as much as I can with some mud paint. And look at that. All right, and now we're just going to stamp it down and see what it looks like. You just stamp it down. You might hear the leaf crunch up a little bit. That's okay. Crunch it on. All right, and then when you're ready, you can lift it up and look. That's so cool. It makes a cool leaf. So I did it with this side of the leaf, but this side where all the veins are is gonna make an even cooler pattern. So we could do it with this side too. Let's get, we're gonna use some brown mud paint for this one and see what it looks like. And it's okay if you get a little messy. That's what mud painting's all about. All right, we're just gonna stamp it down. You might hear a crunch or two, that's okay. Stamp it down, keep pushing. And then when you're ready, you can lift it up. So one, two, three. Wow. Did everybody see the lines, some of the veins? I used a little too much mud paint on this one, but that's okay. You could still see some of the lines where the stem was, which was right here. 
And then if you don't want to use anything you found outside, but you still want to do mud painting, what you can do is you can do a little bit of finger painting. So you can just stick your fingers in there and use your fingers to create a picture, which is one of my favorite ways to do mud painting. So I'm going to write my name right here. And it can be really fun. You can even mud paint in the street. On the sidewalk. And it'll just wash away with the rain. Just like chalk. See? And I wrote my name. But I love to mud paint using my fingers. I mean, if you want to get a little crazy, you could try to use your feet too. I see Catherine did it too. Let's do some red and we'll maybe underline my name. Show you a different color since you can see the colors a little better when you use your fingers. Does everybody see the little bit of red that's in this one? So we have our blue mud paint and our red. And now let me show you the brown. Maybe with the brown one I'll use, I'll do polka dots. So maybe I want to do little dots using my finger. And it gets a little messy as you can see, but that's okay, mess is always fun. All right, and now you can see the brown mud paint, so you're able to see all the different colors we made. And you could also, if you want to make more than just red and blue or brown mud paint, you can also do yellow, you can do green. Whatever color food dye you have, you can make mud paint with. And it is really, really fun. It's fun and you get to do it outside and there's a great activity to do. All right, so everybody take a second to finish up their mud painting. Mud paintings also make a great present for anybody you might live with or any of your friends that you want to give a gift to. It's nice and easy and it dries. It's a lot of fun to do. So I did my leaf. I did one fun looking abstract one. Maybe I'll make a title for this later on. And then I made my name. That one looks so pretty. I hope everybody has fun mud, mud painting and now everybody knows how to do it so you can do it anytime you want. Mm -hmm.